Hello gay porn people of the world, let's talk about the third and final part to The Adventures of Batman and Robin, a Colby Knox porn parody. I'm in love with the hero. we had Robin, who was played by Christian Bay, being captured by two henchmen. The two henchmen were Mickey Knox and Colby Chambers. But puppy Mickey Knox accidentally gasses all of them, and it makes them incredibly horny. So they kind of did their thing at that point. In part two, which actually took place before part one, we had an unmasked Dick Grayson, who was still being played by Christian Bay, but he was having breakfast with Batman, Bruce Wayne, who was being played by Jack Hunter. They had a small discussion about responsibilities and being a hero and all that stuff. Then they got their thing going on. In front of Alfred the entire time. So when part three starts up, it's really after part one. Batman shows up trying to save his sidekick, but he's also gassed with the same gas that was used in the first part. So you know, he's gonna lose all of his inhibitions. Luckily though, when he does come in, he sees that his partner has his ass straight up in the air with no underwear on. Total kudos, not gonna lie, that is a huge fantasy of my own. Coming into a room, seeing a superhero who still has most of his costume on while being tied up and having his ass totally bare to the world to see, spread apart is something that I find fucking hot. And horny Batman takes advantage of that. I like it when porn sometimes changes it up. It's almost always the same type of formula where a guy starts out doing oral stuff and then they move over to the anal stuff. In this situation, they go straight into the anal action and I'm happy with that. I like even more that Christian Bay slightly resists at the beginning, but not too much. He completely gives into it. But hold the horses, Colby Chambers still as a henchman comes in and he switches places with Batman where Batman comes around and they start to spit roast Robin. I had to stop the video to jerk off because again, it is such a huge fantasy to see Robin being spit roasted. Then they switch it again where Batman is splacking Robin, but Colby is also splacking Batman. Such a great fucking scene. I don't know what it is, but it's highly satisfying to see Robin having two facials by two different guys. It's just something I like seeing, I guess. With the exception of the underwear and the capes, for the most part, the costumes on Batman and Robin were both airbrushed on by Tyler Rain. He did such a fantastic job of this, and I really hope that Colby Knox uses him for many more scenes in the future. Which could happen because at the end of this scene it does leave off very ambiguously where it seems as though maybe the Joker is going to get involved in it later. So fingers crossed we'll get a sequel to this series or maybe we'll get an entire new series that just has the same character. I'll stop praising it at this point. Like I said, I thought it was great. If you're interested in watching this part or the other parts of the series, you want to go to ColbyKnox.com and watch it from there. And with that, thank you guys for watching me in this video. If you haven't done it yet, check out my Patreon site, patreon.com slash gaycomicgeek. You become one of my patrons, you can see some extra pictures, videos, photo shoots, and things that I only show to patrons. Plus, you get the benefit of knowing you're helping me out, which that in itself should be worth it, right? Anyways, I will join you guys in another video very soon. Peace, love, and I'll stay. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Cast as the Joker. I'm kind of curious as to who Colby Knox would have in mind for that kind of role. The Joker in himself, I don't really think of him as being sexy, but I've seen some cosplayers who have done shirtless, muscular Jokers, and holy hell, they've totally changed my mind on that.